Whispering. How are we? <laughs> how how am I? How are we supposed to check audio? You're supposedly going to check audio. Too, yeah. Because nobody's in the audio room. No one's there. in the. You are the audio room. I've heard that about you many times. Oh, really? What does it say right now? It says uh, in live in three minutes. Three minutes? No, we're live now. Are we? Yeah. Well, maybe huh. we don't even have a picture. I'm not maybe really sure. Maybe we what... are just talking to ourselves. Oh, I oh. see something. See something? And we oh. have audio. Oh, I hear I... something. So now Should we, we can... turn it up? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some feedback going, shall we? There. There we go. Oh, there's Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Nancy or... Nancy's here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were talking about Friday. This we were coming talking Friday about it. because yes. I have seen on the calendar that you are supposedly taking the day off. Do you have access to the calendar? Yeah, it's on the wall right behind. Oh, okay. You. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering why you're ta- besides you're the owner and you can take the day off. Is there another reason for taking uh, what is going to be a very busy day off? Friday the twenty fifth. Yeah, that's like Friday the thirteenth, right? Only different. The Same only thing, different. but different. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, so I'm actually going to be in a. Um, uh, a memorial golf outing for an old classmate of mine. Memorial golf outing. Is this some sort of charity? Sure. Yes. Sure. Yes. Sure. I think it's a. Uh, um, it, it's uh, going to support um, like a memorial for his in his, oh, on okay. his behalf. Okay. Uh, are you actually playing? Yes, I'll or be playing. Are you just yes. Supplying the the food stuffs. Oh uh, no, I'll be playing. You're with- yeah, if you do want you to play? call it that. I do I play. Yeah, yeah, I try to play. You try to play. Yeah. Uh, nine holes, 18 holes? 18 holes. 36? 18. 18. 18. Yes. So you took the whole day off? My, my oh, friend's flying up from you? Florida, too. For what? For this? For this golf outing, yeah. Where Where does this take place? It's in uh, Hortonville. Hortonville. This year, yeah. Hortonville. Yeah. Nice little nine hole course out there. We'll just play so it. You're going to do it twice? Twice, yeah. There's Very a nine good. hole? Is yes. it a par three? It's not. It's a, it's not. It's a regular par 36, I'm guessing. Oh. I haven't really scoped it out or anything, but... Hardenville is the other side of the airport, right? Correct. Yeah, Just, just keep west. going. Out, out west. west. Yeah. Out west. Well, that's exciting. Oh, yeah. That's yes. so exciting. We could just keep talking about it. We have we to call another two, two, we two minutes. What are you doing this weekend? I'm not golfing, I don't think. You're not golfing? Well, you don't could think? I, could I get in on this? Sure. Is we it, need one more, it, actually. Is it best ball? Yes. It is best yes. ball. Oh, yes. that I can do. Oh, yeah, okay. Easily. <laughs> just throw it. Yeah. Does it even matter? No. No, it doesn't matter. No. Best ball is... I find that the most enjoyable. Yes, definitely. It's quick. Everybody gets a chance. Whoever is the best, we you get usually, that score. You usually have like a either, an either a really good person golfing, or uh, you have a really uh, or an, both. an older person, or <laughs> an older person that just hits it right down the middle, so you can just try for it. Try for it. Yeah. And which are you in this scenario? Which one do you think I am? I don't know. Actually, you've played a long time. I've played. Yeah. You're not an I old played in high person, school. So. You're probably good. Not very good. No. Not very good. No. But th- that's why that you play best ball. That was a long time ball. ago. Best, best ball is fun. Right. That's correct. It's when tough. I when I golf myself or with other people or whatever, I don't even keep score. You that's, just hit the ball. That's, yeah. Do you get it I'm in the I'm out there for fun. Or do you just hit it and then go to the next hole? Uh, eventually it goes in the cup. Eventually. Yeah. Sometimes it's three times. Sometimes sometimes it's ten strokes. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. Because it's fun. Yeah. Exactly. That's what golf is for. Yeah. Fun. Have a couple. Have a couple it's beverages. Yeah. Shall we start? We shall. We should yeah, start. Whatever. You're the boss. You know. I'm what, just along you know for the what ride. We missed. We missed the green room. By the way, everyone. Green this room. Has yeah. Been the green room. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start the show now. Yes. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 23 23. of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd. That's the second 23. Oh, wow. Is this like our golden? It's 23, 23, 23 so far. Uh, And we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, the very funny mayor of Meatville. I was funny looking. looking. Yeah, you looking. should probably show Mr. Have. Luke Jacobs. Luke, I've seen you in forever. Oh, since yes. Since the non existent green room. Right, right. 23. It is the 23rd episode on the 23rd of August, 2023. Ask me how many days until Christmas. I will not. Okay. 
It's 124. Oh, okay. But it's 123 I'm sure I didn't ask. to Christmas Eve day, which is when you have your uh, barbershop quartet, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Are you? 120. Are you going to join them? Three days. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And what, what would that what would that make it then? Not a quartet. What oh, would I just make watch. It? I don't have to sing. I can just stand there. Oh, listen. You can. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell everyone what we're doing here. Why don't you do that? We're going to go over the weekly specials if you brought them with you. We'll talk about brats of the week. Did you bring the weekly <laughs> Was specials? that a question? Yes, what? <laughs> yeah, I we, didn't, but you we, did. We have a local product of the week. Yes. I'm going to go over special upcoming days. We will have a winner of last week's contest. Plus, are we going to do a new contest this week? Yes. Let's dive right in. For anyone who may not know, <laughs> please. You don't even react nah. anymore. Oh, man. It's an old shtick. Yeah. Please tell us where we are. Uh, we are at Jacob's Meat Market in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, yeah, <laughs> Appleton. <laughs> do you have an address? We do. 544 North Law Street, the corner of Law and Pacific. Uh, Jacob's Meat Market. Correct. It's more than... More than meat. More than meat. Yeah. It's the more eye. than meets the eye. More yes. than meets the eye. We have news. I have things written on here, but this is a live. Have I told you this is live? No, this you haven't a live told me this is live. So for the first have you told time, them this is live? I think they know. Oh, they're okay. Um, Are they watching live? <laughs> Are you going to put not. your phone maybe on D D again? I did that already. Oh, I have okay. breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news because this is a live broadcast. We have breaking news. There is a heat advisory for today, uh, in this county and many others. Which today, county are we in? Autogamy. 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 Oh. <laughs> Wednesday, August 23rd from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. is a heat advisory. Hot temperatures and high humidity may cause heat illness. Actions drink plenty of fluids, which you have available here. Does it say which fluids you're supposed to drink? It just says fluids. Oh. Alcohol. That's fluid. Last time I checked. Stay in air conditioning, which you have here. Stay out of the sun. No sun here. So far, I'm going to stay here all day. And check up on relatives and neighbors. Until we kick you out. Yeah, until you kick me out. Which yeah. is as soon as I end this broadcast, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's the breaking news. Oh, breaking, breaking news. news. Wow. You have some news. This one right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bre breaking news, of course. Yes, yes here breaking. again. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, we still have our contest going on for the big green egg, um, the medium big green egg. Um, to it's enter. big. It's big, yes. I yes. guess there's a bigger one, but this is big. Right. There, I think there are two larger. I think there's, they have a, a large and a extra ginormous. Large. Yeah, they should make it ginormous. Yeah. Well, this is plenty large. big enough. It is, even though it's medium. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, and also, second prize is the uh, year's worth of um, Jacob's Meat Market brats. Um, and third prize is uh, equally as good a fifty dollars Jacob's Meat Market gift card. How does one to enter end? this? Oh, you're just about to tell me. Don't you, weren't gonna, you weren't going to listen Don't anyway. Step on my line. You weren't going to listen anyway. Uh, to enter, uh, simply purchase four brats, fresh or frozen, um, and then just ask for a uh, an entry form right at the front meat counter. If I buy sixteen, do I get four of those entries? No, no, no. One entry per day. One per day. Yes. So if I'm going to buy sixteen, I should space it out. Yes. Because then I could do one a day. You could, right? I could. I have we do have a person driving from. Um, New London every day. Every day. Well, it's worth it. It is. It's definitely. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely. That is a very nice That's looking very big testament. green medium egg. Whatever. Correct. Um, are you still looking for help here? Yes, we are. Tell us all about that. Oh, oh, employment. Employment. Oh, I thought you were asking about personal. That kind of help. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, you don't have to ask about so that. <laughs> they already know as yeah. well. Uh, so we're still looking for a part time cashier as well as a part time uh, meat department worker. Someone behind the counter. Correct. And how does one apply for this? Uh, just come on into Jacob's Meat Market uh, and ask for an application right at the register. You have applications? We have blank ones and we have also ones that are filled out already. Are the ones that are filled out guaranteed to get you a job? Mm, mm. No, that's no. why they're still up there. That's why they're still up there. <laughs> you did something interesting this week uh, that I found out about when I got my email from you about this week's lunches. It came oh. on Sunday and it's usually the lunch menu, but right beneath it, was uh, another one that said Monday, Tuesday specials. Yes. Monday, Tuesday specials. What's yes. this all about? Now, today's Wednesday, so they're already over. <laughs> Correct. Correct. People are always looking for a deal. You know, are they? They're, they're always looking for sale items, and especially when they come in on Monday and Tuesday. We have a, a little bit shorter staff on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so they need a deal. Because, right. Okay. Well, they don't need one, but they're just looking they for one. Yes. Yes. They're in pursuit. Of so, so is this a new thing? Yes. Yes. Monday, well, uh, Tuesday. So we did it years ago in the newspaper. 
Um, and then we discontinued the newspaper, as you know, and then... Um, so a rebirth. Rebirth, of yes. the Monday, Tuesday, yes. which means this coming Monday, Tuesday, there will be news specials. Correct. And people can find out about them. So we have to redo the shtick of, uh, you know, what, what we send on Mondays, or on Sundays, for well, the Sundays week as well. Well, Sundays is apparently yeah. going to be... We'll, we'll get there. We'll yes. get there. It's, it's coming right out. Okay, all right. But first... But first... Today's Wednesday. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. And it is... Because it's Wednesday, it's what? Broad Fry Wednesday. You want me to tell you which brats you're, you're frying you up us? on? Yeah. You don't really fry them, do you? No. no. Uh, pork brats, as per usual, and French onion brats, which is one of the ones on the special. Did you know that when you eat those? Did not know that. Oh, you want to finish? Go ahead. <laughs> but when you, you eat those, French? you must, uh, oh, it's a little, with your don't pinky you always in the do that? We well, have pictures. We have pictures. Have, <laughs> we have pictures. Speaking of Prove specials. It. Let's go over the specials, but first, but first, tell me a joke. Yes, uh, do you know what you call a lazy kangaroo? A lazy kangaroo? Kangaroo. Yes. What, what do you call a lazy? Did I kangaroo? not enunciate that well? I was just or? making sure I oh, understood. Okay. You okay. It is. I, never mind. It is okay. Luke. Okay. We're talking about. <laughs> right. What do you call a lazy kangaroo? A pouch potato. A pouch potato. Pouch. Yeah, like pouch. a pouch. Like a pouch because what? they have pouches. They do have pouches to fit their joeys <laughs> in. Ah, their joeys. Yes. Because they are marsupials. <laughs> I have a joke. Uh, you might know this one because you're a butcher. In yes. what key? In what key do cows sing? Um, I'm not sure. B flat. B flat. 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 Oh, flat. I like it. I like Speaking it. Speaking of mailing lists, people should sign up for your mailing list. How is that? How do they do to, that? Oh, hey. uh, right on our website. You have a website? Uh, we do have a website. What's that called? jacobsmeatmarket.com. It's oh. on the World Wide Web. It's on the World Wide Web. Yes. Oh, very nice. Very dot nice. com, not dot so com. So modern. Right, right. Anyway, I'm there. So now. on the right-hand right right. side, you're not there. You're, yeah, uh, you're right In my here. mind, I am on your website. Oh, okay, yes. okay. I can see So it. on the right-hand side. Yes, it is. Um, it's a little you may, field yeah. there. Yes, a little field that you enter your email address yeah. in. So I need an email address. You do need an email address. That is yes. a prerequisite. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then what do I get if I sign up for your mailing list? You get a free high five. Oh, I'm signed up. Oh, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. That's, that was a good high five, too. I wasn't <laughs> quite sure time. if you were going to be <laughs> flimsy. Or, yeah, right. Um, so you get on, on Sundays, you get our uh, lunch menu, uh -huh. as well as our new edition is the Monday, Tuesday special. Monday, Tuesday special. Both yes. come on Sunday in Sunday, the mailer. Okay. In the mailer, yes. In the email. Yes. In the mailer as well that as is sent via email. Yes. Yeah, I noticed Electronic that. mail. On Sunday. Did you know that email is short for electronic mail? I knew that, yeah. You did? Okay. I didn't know you do that. Oh, okay. I don't think you think I know a lot of things. I don't think anyway. I, I don't think you think on you, Wednesdays. I know. Also, I we think. <laughs> something happens on Wednesdays. Talk, put it um, on Wednesdays. Also, we uh, we send out our weekly weekly email, so you don't have to watch the show. Um, the, our to. weekly specials are run Wednesday through Saturday, so we send them so out on the, Wednesday the, morning. The mailer that goes out via email, electronic mail, on Wednesday tells everyone who receives it what these specials are that we're about to cover. Yes. All right, let's cover them. Yeah, so if you already have the email, you can just disregard this whole deal. Sometimes you have additional information. Sometimes. Because sometimes I ask stupid questions. Do you? Or all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I haven't noticed. This is very popular always, this first special here. Oh, we're going to go over the specials We're going to go over the, oh, okay. the first okay. one. I, my uh, buddy yes. says chuck. So Fresh I don't know extra what lean ground chuck is on sale for $4.49 a pound or $4.09 a pound if you buy 7.38 pounds 7 .3 or more. In one package. In one package, yes. Prior to this show, I was in the corner waiting for our hour. This stuff flies out the door. You sell a lot of ground chuck. We do, definitely. And, and people buy large amounts so they can get it at the reduced price. Correct. And they're not shy about it. Right. I saw people making phone calls. Should I get some? Yes. Like, they just found out about the sale, so they right. had to call home. And they're obviously not on the mailer list. Obviously not. We should have, right. we should have hey, taken hey, that hey, opportunity hey, hey. right there. So yeah, we lost it. that runs till Saturday. Yes. And you'll sell... Three, ton three thousand, three thousand to thirty-five hundred pounds. Yeah, two tons of beef. Pertinier, yeah. Okay, where are we going? Okay, next uh, we have some pork. fresh boneless pork sale going on. So this is um, boneless pork. Boneless, yes. As the ones that don't no have bone. the bone. Okay. Correct. Correct. Uh, so the boneless pork roasts are two ninety-nine a pound, and the boneless pork chops, regular or stuffed, are three forty-nine a pound. I, am I the, looking at the stuffed ones right now? Yes. Because they're the very stuffed. 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 Yes. Very stuffed. Yes. With what? Apparently it's stuffing. Bread stuffing. Bread stuffing, So it's, yes. it's like your Thanksgiving stuffing. So that's reason enough. Which is your favorite part of Thanksgiving, right? You 
Uh, where did you hear that rumor? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, rewatch the shows good. every week. Do you? All Several times. All of them. Yes. As you should. Yes. Most people do, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. We, we only have five time. viewers. When you say two, when you see 250 views, that means we've all watched it that multiple times. At least. At My least, button yes. now says so the, oh, oh, so hold on. So the pork, the pork roast. Are, are, it, this is also important to mention that you can get whatever size pork roast you like. If you need a one pound roast, if you want a 10 pound roast or whatever, you can choose your size at two ninety nine a pound. Two ninety nine. Yes, it's not just pre wrapped and in a package and sitting out in a in a display. Do I see a roast can, back there? A pork roast somewhere? Um, not if you're looking over that way. Oh, it's it's behind. You? Yes. Okay. Uh, over there. Over there. No, yeah. I see ground chuck. Right there, where it says pork roast summit. Oh, those Under, are both okay. Yes. You still didn't see it, but that's no. right. Moving right along. Moving right along. Does that say Cheerios? It says chicken. Oh, chicken. Chicken. Oh, chicken. I don't know what you got for chicken. So we have fresh, all-natural roasting chickens on sale for two ninety nine a pound. Oh, those are those. Yeah. Those Very are large right there. chickens. Yes. Very yes. Large chickens. Yes. So some people ask us, um, you know, uh, how are those chickens so big versus how, our? How are those chickens so? Large? Are they older? Uh, they are a different breed. Oh, chickens. different breed. Yeah, these are roasting chickens, not frying chickens. So oh. frying chickens are the ones we typically sell fresh in the case all the time. Those are about three to three and a half pounds. Uh, the roasting chickens are a larger breed of chicken, and they're between six and ten pounds. Yeah, uh, that looks like it could be a small turkey. Yes, they're they're, they're a very good size. It's it's great for a Sunday meal. You put it in the um, in the slow cooker in the morning, um, and then by dinner time, it's all ready and ready to eat. You should just come to look at them because they're very nice looking yeah, free looks. And and good price. Yes, definitely. Two ninety nine. one of those. Would it, if I buy it today, which is Wednesday, can I keep it in the refrigerator until Sunday? You can keep it in the refrigerator until you take it out. Will it still be good? Oh, will it still be good? Yes. Yes, okay. Definitely. My definitely. next button says salmon. Yes, so we have some Door County Cherry smoked salmon, uh, $12.99 a pound. This is one of our three flavors that we uh, that we smoke. You have three right flavors here. of smoked salmon. Yes, one of which is Door County cherry smoke. Correct. Which I assume the cherries come from Door County, or the smoke. I think so. You I think never so. know these days. Right. Right. This is, you you take cherries from Door County and make smoke out. Yes. Somehow. We smoke them and then we rub them all over the fish. All over the fish. Yeah. What are the two other flavors of smoked salmon that you have? Uh, we have uh, not on sale this week. We have the classic, and we have the sriracha. So just smoked and sriracha smoked. Correct. But on sale this week is the Door County cherry smoked. Right. Sounds delicious. You know where Door County is? Have you ever North. been to Door County? I have not. No. It's oh, on the peninsula, it's... isn't it? It is. The thumb. The thumb. This is yes. the official map of Wisconsin. It's up here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere. It's somewhere. it's it's like the base of your thumb all the way all up. All the way up. Yeah. To that island. Which one? Rock Island. Washington? Washington? I don't know. You need a ferry. You need a ferry. You need a yeah. ferry to get there. Is, by, yeah. by that I mean a boat. A boat. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah. You got a story? No. <laughs> Not one I can tell here. All right. Uh, if My you, button says Met version. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we have some ring Metworths on sale for four ninety nine. dollars But is it plain or is it garlic? Yes. Okay. We have the boat of them. Now we've... You've done Metwurst on sale before, and yes. you, you have left out the word ring. Right. Is this a different kind of Metwurst? This is the same kind that we always carry. Okay. Um, it's always a ring. Correct. Correct, yes. Rings a bell. Rings a bell, yes. Okay. Yes. And, and when it says ring Metwurst, it, it comes just like your shirt there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not like yours. Not like mine. Right. No, much more like yours. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, $4.99. What do you do with Metwurst? Uh, we sell it. It's not a shirt. It's just a big tattoo. So oh, it's a big tattoo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mention it. You I was just it. looking at it. If I were to buy Metverse, how would I consume it? Can it does um, it need to be cooked? Uh, it doesn't need to be cooked. Okay. Uh, it's, it's fully cooked when you buy it. Um, what I like to do is uh, put a, a bed of sauerkraut down and then put the ring Metverse on top. This is your sauerkraut then, recipe. Yes. That we should film you making something. We should. Yeah. Yes. Because like there's, the really, no, there's really no proof that I do that. In fact, you probably don't. You probably never that have. sounds good, though, <laughs> right? We will get you on film. Okay, okay. Uh, my next button says cheese, yes, but I don't yes. know what kind of cheese. We have Wisconsin provolone cheese on sale for $4.99 a pound. It's a really popular cheese here. It's actually. Uh, behind the deli. It's, it's in the deli. In the deli. Yeah, it's you, in the deli you counter. For it. Right. You can get a chunk of it, also. You don't you have can. to get it sliced. We, I get, get, a, it we sliced. get a chunk of it. You get a chunk of it. Yeah. If I wanted a quarter pound brick, you would just chop me off a, a brick? Yeah, a good. Not We'd sliced. have some. 
throwing at you or what? Sure. Yeah. Okay. We have I've plenty of takers. I've before. I know how We've this got works. Plenty of takers. Anyway, you've got Wisconsin, not just any. Promo. Right. This is from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. What's that? Are you done with the cheese? Now? I am. Uh, yes. Yes. You, you got your, <clears throat> your, right. your snapping fingers ready. Snapping fingers. Yeah. Now. Not the clapping fingers. Brats of the week. Brats of the week. Okay. He said okay. Yes. Uh, French. My my button says French. The French onion. The French. Oh, oui. French onion. French oui, onion oui. brats. Oui. Yeah. Mais si. oui. Oui. Bien sûr. What have you got here? Sacre bleu. <laughs> Sacre bleu. <laughs> That's about okay. all I know. Turning the page. <laughs> yes, please. Right. Or, uh, 469 a pound. For what? For the French onion brats. That's French what I said. How do you make a French onion Are you onion not brat? listening? No, I don't think you said it. Or I'm not listening. I think it's the ladder. Do you have a ladder around here? Yes. Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder. Yes. Of you course. know what that is? I bet I you do. Yeah. With the last course, name like Jacob's. Yeah. Did you invent it? Someone in your No. Okay. No, no. French onion brats. We oui. on sale this week for brats of the week. Yes. Four sixty nine a pound as per usual. Yes. How does one how do you make a French onion brat? You just take the casing and throw in the soup? Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Depends on how much of a hurry we're in, I guess. It's a pork brat with pork some brat. French onion seasonings. All right. Yes. I bet that's tasty. It's delicious, yes. I like the pork brat and I yeah. like and French onion and soup. And they're on the Brats uh, the Brat are. Fry Wednesday, so Today, you can try you know, one. I can get one. Yes. Get one. Uh, the next one says Dijon. We're just sticking the with French honey, here. Honey Dijon. Honey Dijon. Yeah. Hence the, uh, in oh. the ad, yes. we've got a little, uh, what is this? What is his name? Leonardo? Okay, Leonardo. A turtle? With the no, the uh, the French guy, the artist. Sure. Well, I don't think he was French. He was Italian. Okay. The, the Mona Lisa <laughs> is in France. <laughs> you know what anyway. I meant? Yeah. Right. Right. Your little thanks for mascot. helping save me here. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes. Your mascot dude in in mascot dude. How yeah. do you know it's not a dude that? Well, he's got a Just mustache. Yeah. What does that mean? I'm not going to make any assumptions. What does that mean? Huh? But there's no dude that dude can be anybody. It is not specific to Jen. My toaster this morning was dude. Dude! You've burned my toast. Oh, the toaster burnt your toast? Yeah, so I called him dude. But of course, I'm from California. Which you didn't know, did you? Honey Dijon chicken brat. So this is not a pork brat. It wasn't me this time. I'm just appreciating that. It wasn't me this yes, time. Yes, 469 a pound. Uh, so this is a chicken brat, not a pork brat. Correct. Into the chicken, you put a honey Dijon spices. Yes. All right. Yes. See? Now I know how you do things. Right. right. Like Finally, honey, Dijon mustard. I'm going to take that off the page right here. Yeah, why don't you do that? And uh, you have a guest this week. We do have a guest who, this who week. Who did you bring this week? Who did uh, you I coerce? didn't bring anybody. I coerced <laughs> Terry. Terry. Yes. Oh, from, from Rikert Spice Rikert Company. Spice. Yes. I have a spice joke. Oh, you do? Oh, I have you a... want to tell it to him or you want to tell, I'll tell it to, it to me? I'll tell it to you. How about, why don't you tell it to the audience? Somebody that'll listen. What do you call, Mr. Jacobs, someone who films spices? Films, film spices. spices. Um, why don't you tell me? I don't remember. A uh, cinematographer. Cinnamon cinematographer. Yes. We will be right back. And, and we're back, we're back with Terry 
from Reichert Spice. Terry, how, how are you? I'm good. Yourself? Good. Oh, I'm fantastic. Thanks for making the trek up here. I'm just here to spice up your life. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, my. I don't know if we should, uh, can we uh, do the we'll be, be right, right back. back and we'll do maybe somebody else here. Uh, so you're here to spice up our life from where? Where are you, where are you from? I work for uh, Reichert Spice Company. Okay. They are located, the blending company itself is located in Ashcom, Illinois. Okay. About an hour south of Chicago. Okay. Um, they've been in business since 1997, so 26 years. Wow. So we do all custom blending, um, formulas of our own, customers formulas. Um, we have over 7,000 seasonings and spice blends. Holy man. Yeah. So wow. Much. How do you pick what to blend? <laughs> a lot of the stuff is formulas over the years that we've created. Okay. And then along with their customers' own blends that we blend for them. Okay, so, okay, all okay. right. So I think, uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here. So my grandfather um, developed some recipes with the founder of another spice company, another that used to be local spice company. Um, so they developed those recipes over the years, over 70 years ago. Um, and I believe that those recipes have been duplicated by Record Spice Company that we still use today. Yes. You know, such as like the, the Wieners, the, um, the Braunschweiger, um, yep. all of these different summer sausage, all of these different seasonings that, uh, sorry, sausages that we make, we have developed, my grandpa has, has developed um, with another spice company um, over the years and we still continue to use those same recipes. Exactly, those those are the same formulas, same spices you've been using for years, Right. just at a different company. The one that was up here in the Little Shoot area ended up closing up or selling out and then we just moved them over to Riker Spice Company. Sure, sure, okay. So how do you pick what spices to, what spices to use because I'm sure I mean, I don't know the spice company, the, the spice world very well. Um, so how do you pick what spices, where to, where to source the spices from? Well, first of all, we, we only buy the best, highest quality spices you can buy because if you want to make good sausage, you have to start with good quality spices. Right. So that is actually the key I to it. I thought you start with good quality meat. Well, that helps too from Jacob's Meat Market. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. So high yes. quality spices? Yes, yeah, so we, we source the most high quality spices and that is the key to having good, making good. Guys, you know, we buy on quality. <laughs> we, don't, we don't buy from Jimmy that comes in here that says, you know, I, got, I, can, I can do it for cheaper, or I can do it for whatever. Correct. You know, you, you buy exactly what you we buy. We buy years. the highest quality. We have spec sheets on every spice so we can show how the quality is okay. and that the oils are not all pulled out of the spice. That sure. those are all in there so i mean so you yeah. like all the oils and the spices is it 10w30 or what it, what kind of oil i don't know if it's 10w30 or or 10 20 30 i don't 10, know what, okay 10 know, what 10 20 10, 30. Yeah, it, could be, it could be any of them okay, okay all right all right uh so you've been in business for 26 years 27 years that 27 we've been in business. Years? Okay. okay i've been with them 19 years okay so and who was it started by it was started by um, Jimmy Mike, Mike, and John Mike, Reichert. Mike Reichert Mike, okay. and his father, Harvey Reichert. Okay. Harvey owned his own meat processing plant, his father, okay. for years. He sold that, then was the national sales manager for F.W. Witt, which was a huge, sure, huge I've spice company. Yeah. And so that's how Reichert ended up getting started and uh, been growing and growing every single year. Wow, that's awesome. And you've been so, with them for 19 years? And I've years. been with them for 19 out of the... Wow. That's, that's awesome. Yep. So how many different, maybe not how many different places do you sell to, but like regionally, how far do you guys go? We, we, sell, it, we sell over the whole United States. Okay. I work um, pretty much the state of Wisconsin for them. Uh, I have a lot in Michigan and other states too. I have other stuff too. Okay. But they do go over the whole United States. But I think a lot of our business is the entire Midwest. Okay, okay. So, what is your number one selling product that you sell? Yeah, I would, you, you personally. I would have to say the product that I sell the most out of all my products is my sweet bourbon jerky. Absolutely, oh, really? hands down. Okay, okay. So, and we, sell, we buy that. You do. And we make that. You we do. make our sweet bourbon jerky, obviously, with the sweet bourbon correct, seasoning. Correct, correct. So, okay. Yes, that is absolutely, right now, is my most popular item. It's out a of delicious one, every, too. Every item. Oh, it's it very good. So, so good. It is. Yes. So, um, and we, like I said, every year we come out probably 
every spring we'll come out with 10 to 15 new stuff that we create. Okay. So we have an R&D, research and development. We create it. A lot of the stuff, I'll bring them the ideas and they'll create it. Okay. So like this just recently this year, we came out with some new stuff like um, the maple whiskey sausage. Okay. okay. Uh, a chili con queso snack stick. Um, the um, We came out with a couple new marinades. We have a Bloody Mary marinade, a okay. Pico de Gallo marinade. Um, so every year we'll create new 10 to 15 new items every sure. single spring. Sure, because I'm sure people's people's flavors change. You know, their 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 tongues change, and they get they get uh, you know different right. anchorings for different different things. And then this spice is hot this year, or this you know. Correct. Over the years, trends change and sure. flavors change over the years. Even right. from you know from the 80s, 90s, everybody's changes. So we're trying to come up with new, unique flavors. Okay. That people will like. Okay. And so you guys do uh, from snack sticks to marinades for pork chops or, or chicken breasts. We do everything brats. that is involved in sausage making. So everything you need binders, um, all the spices. Um, just like you just said, we do flavors. We have a lot of flavors, just like that yeah. maple and whiskey. We have whiskey flavors. Sure. We have alcohol flavors. It dries. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so we sell probably 40 different varieties of brats. Correct. And I think we buy probably 38 of those 40 flavor, different flavorings from you. Correct. So how, do you know how many different flavored brats? That we carry? Yeah. I would have to say in the hundreds. It's only a half an hour. I'd show, have to say so. in the hundreds <laughs> okay. of flavors wow. of brats. Wow. Is there is there one flavor that we should carry that you that you would recommend? Um not to put you on the spot because I, there's so many to yeah. pick from. So right. I mean there's so many good ones. Right. Um I do have a new street corn brat. Street corn, okay. Like or a Mexican one? It's 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 if you've had if you've had Mexican there street corn, there's corn in it. Oh, there's corn. actual okay. corn in okay. it, in the blend. Um, or I would suggest our Southwestern Fiesta brat. Oh, okay. And that one's a great Southwest flavor. It has really good flavor. Um, it has won actual awards. Real Actual yes, ones? Actual awards not, at, not your illegitimate ones? at your Wisconsin Association of Meat Processors. It oh, has won okay. awards over the years okay. for the best flavored brat. Okay. So those would be two I would suggest. Sure. There's so many, it's hard to just pick out two. Right, right. You right. know that. I, under, I do understand it's that. It's like I mean, I'm the Jacobs. At... You don't just have one or two. You right. have a variety. Oh, yes, of good right, stuff. right. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your list that you came out with this, this, uh, this spring. Yep. And I mean, it's super hard because they all sound great. You want to try them all, right? But which ones do you eliminate that from your current stock? You know what I mean? <clears throat> well, actually, we don't. We have not eliminated anything over the years. So everything that we have, you can still buy. You haven't eliminated anything over the years. Nope. Does Kevin still work for you? You eliminated him, didn't you? His oh, job. When I worked for no, him I'm just years kidding. ago. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but just kidding. we don't. We haven't really. We don't eliminate. So we just add. You sure, know, and sure. because people buy the other stuff and you can't right. not have it. So right. we right. haven't actually eliminated items. And I'm sure since you still have the Some recipe. do not sell as much as others, right? You come right. out with so many every year that, you know, some are not as big as sellers as others, but right. some are really good Like a uh, blood sausage, probably, for instance. Blood sausage. You probably don't I sell don't much sell a of lot, that. Are we your only buyer of but blood sausage? But I do. Seasoning? One of very few. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. So... Those, I would, yes. Those the, places have probably diminished over the years. Blood sausage, sure. yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. okay, okay. Um, so is there anything else that we should know about Reichert Spice Company? You know, I mean, just like I said, we've been in business 27 years. Um, we sell over the whole United States. The Midwest is a, probably the biggest part. Um, yeah, is there we, sausage making like in, like, California, Arizona, Florida. Is. is it, we, we is do, it as big? Yeah, as we have some very here? large accounts down in Florida, sure. and and we do a lot in the South. Okay, uh, a lot of barbecue type stuff, seasonings, and oh, all that, that kind sense. of stuff. Sure. Um, but yeah, yeah I mean, I I would say the quality and the service that we give. We are one of the best companies out here for turnaround to get your product. I agree 100%. As quick as possible. I agree 100%. So we buy your, your, your seasonings for our sausages and everything, but we also carry and, and package up some of our own, you know, 
shakers Correct. that we use. Um, prime rib seasoning is our number one seller. Yep. Um, Daryl's chicken rub is great on on chicken. Correct. Uh, California garlic pepper is yep. uh, is a great all around. Yes. You know garlic those, and pepper. Those those yeah great yeah. on pork chicken. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I I think we're gonna do a contest and we're gonna give one of these shakers away each. Okay. Um, for for the winner of the contest, but okay. we'll talk about that in a second. Because, um, but I just want to mention that we that we carry shakers um, of a lot of your spices as well, and they sell really really well. And you can taste the quality. Right. You know, you're shaking it on top of your vegetables that you're sautéing, or you shake it on your burgers, or your um, chicken, or um, you know, steak, whatever you're putting on the grill, Correct. whatever you're baking in the oven. There's there is a difference in quality of spices. There right. really, there really is. I right. mean, there is a, a cheaper grade of spices, let's just yeah. say, and they go up. Yeah. So I mean, you can see you can see these uh, these little uh, in in larger stores or yeah. whatever. You can see these little shakers on there, yes. but you kind of wonder like, what's the quality? How long have they been on the shelf and stuff like that? So correct. We, I mean, we order at least on a quarterly basis a lot of the oh, yeah. a lot of these shaker shaker seasonings, so correct. they're nice and fresh. Yep. So yep. All right. Um, do you like apples? I forgot to ask you. Do I like apples? Yes. Yeah, Granny yeah. Smith is my favorite. Granny probably. Smith, yeah, Granny really? Smith. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. you're a Granny fan. Now. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, well, thank you very much for coming down. Thank you for coming having up, me. Actually, appreciate yeah. it. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for uh, giving our customers a lot of knowledge on spices that yeah. we use. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Sounds good. We'll be right back. We're back. And we're back. We're yes, back. we are. You are Luke. And I'm Eric. Yes. Uh, so you get spices from Riker's Spice. Yes. And you use those spices to make these different flavors of brats. Brats, yep. Uh -huh. and, and other sausages, yes. I'm getting like the French onion. Here. Came from Riker. Yes. Honey Dijon. Came from Riker. Riker, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, the, a picture is forming. I'm, okay. I'm getting a much clearer okay. picture. Good. That's good. Nice, nice interview. Thank you. Um, when do you want to tell everyone who your special guest is for next week? Might as well uh, do it right now. Let's do it right now. <laughs> you, you, you have one lined up. We do have one lined who, up, who yes. Who is the yes. special guest? Uh, so it's going to be Trin from Trinzel's Pretzels. These We've, are very popular. Yes, very popular and very addictive. Uh, that's probably why they're popular. Right, yeah, probably. right, yes. Uh, I don't know how many people have come in here, like if, if, if we happen to be out one day and you know we're going to restock the next day or something like that, they come in and they're looking for the pretzels. Um, they yeah, simply come in for those. Yes, very disappointed we don't have any. Um, so I mean, I there are there's a, a, a larger national brand out there that makes pretzels. Is that um, seasoned? Never yes. Heard of it? Yes. Anyway. Okay. We won't mention it then. Um, so uh, these pretzels are delicious, and she's been making them for us for a couple of years, and they're they excellent. fly off your shelf. Yes. In fact, they're yeah. usually on this table right here, where we do this BSTV. Yes. And. They just move and move and they move. They do, yes. Yeah. So, you're constantly down here re restocking. Yes, those. I am constantly. Yes. Uh, special guest next week. Yes. Trend. All right. Yep. Uh, shall I do the special day? Yes, you shall. Special days. This Friday, August 25th, is National Banana Split Day. Do you like National, banana splits? Huh? I do like. I banana like them. I rarely have them. Uh, me but too. They're good when you have them. So right. Maybe When's the last Friday, time you had one? I can't even remember. Five years ago. Five years. We'll just say okay. five years. Ago. Okay. But maybe this Friday. Maybe. Maybe yeah, this that Friday. Sounds like it. 
I might idea. have to make it myself, but sure. that's okay. Sure. Uh, I'm going to skip that one. We'll come right back to it. I do want to mention that in less than two weeks from today, Monday, September 4th, is Labor Day, and I bring that up only because I believe you're closed then. We are closed. So we might as well start Labor telling Day. everyone you cannot yes. get your pretzels on Labor. No, no. You're going to be closed on the Sunday and the Monday. Correct. Are you doing a half day on Tuesday or just no, back to we'll back? No, we'll do the full. Okay, yeah. so yep. that's not this coming Monday, but the following. Right. On, Jacob's yes, Meat on Market Day. will be closed this Sunday, this coming Sunday, right, almost right after right. Banana Split Day right. is National Rock, Paper, Scissors Day. Yes. Are you familiar with Rock, Paper, Scissors? Uh, I am very familiar, I, yes. I think we should try it. We should. We should. Okay. Now, now, do you, uh, do you, Turn into the rock, the paper, or the scissors on three or on four? Because it's one, rock, two, three. Paper, for scissors, me. shoot. Okay, so you do on four. Yes. Okay, so one, two, three. And then the shoot is when you do it. Shoot. So I just yeah. do a gun. Shoot. If, if okay. that's what you're going to pick. Right, let's go. Yeah. Ready. Best, rock. are we doing two out of two three? Out of three. Okay, two and out the three. winner gets what? The winner gets Minnesota? to decide who reads the thanks for watching oh. cue card. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. For next week or this week? This week. Oh, okay. This All right. week. Ready? Right. Rock, right. paper, yeah. scissors, shoot. Oh, what is that? Go ahead. So nobody won. Nobody won. Okay. Cats game. Ready? Oh, what is this? It's gonna take thirty minutes. Cats what? Can. Cats game. Cats game. That's when you do tic tac toe and nobody wins. It's cats game. I don't know why. We'll discuss that on a oh, future okay. show. Ready? Uh, we call it a tie. It's <laughs> another word for a tie. All right. Rock paper scissors shoot. Oh, okay, that's one to you. Got one. Rock paper scissors shoot. That's one to me. Oh, yeah. What is this to call? This is it. Are we at a cats game now no, or whatever? No, cats cue. Uh, game point. Game point. Game point. Oh, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you okay. won. So I, I say you get to read it. Right. Okay. You're, you're trained. Okay. <laughs> giveaway. We did a giveaway last, last week, week, which was a dozen Milo's eggs. Correct. We have uh, comments from the comment section. Yes. Shall I read some? Yes, you shall. Chris, we asked people how you like to prepare your eggs. Yes. Chris said egg bake. Now, I don't even know what an egg bake is. Really? It's like a quiche, but without the crust. Have you ever had an egg bake? I have, okay. yes. Be sure to use lots of Jacob's breakfast sausage and farmer's market veggies. I like a quiche, so you just take the crust out, so it would also be good too. Right. Uh, Lindale, my sister loves to do eggs on the grill, especially mm. she learned how to melt cheese on the grill. I'm not sure how you do eggs on it. Maybe in a pan. Yeah, probably in a pan. Maybe in a pan. Yeah, maybe or when don't you... don't crack them. When you... <laughs> Darren says, I like my eggs scrambled with spinach and mushrooms. Tasty and easy. Yes. Tasty and easy. We have a winner. We do. We have a winner. Karen, whose comment was, love my eggs over easy or hard boiled to make egg salad or deviled eggs. Ooh. Karen has won. This go. 23? 23 episodes 23 ago? episodes ago, because this one's over. Right. We're gonna do another uh, contest. I, I, I like when people just like notice small things like that. I do too. Like I, I probably. I, I really enjoy it when you notice. Oh. <laughs> Is that why you do them? Yeah. Okay. You should see the things you don't notice. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe oh, I shouldn't. Are we doing another contest this week? Uh, yes. Let's do that. You said something about giving spices away. Yes. Yes. We'll give away uh, three. Uh, so uh, Daryl's chicken rub, uh, California garlic pepper. And uh, prime rib seasoning. All these three to one winner? To one or, winner, okay. yes. Okay, yes. and to enter, they usually have to leave a comment, either in YouTube or in Facebook. What yes. should the comment be about this week? Uh, the comment should be, if you have a go-to rock, paper, or scissors, which oh, one do you strategy? typically go what to? Is your, yes. What is your yes. rock, paper, scissors strategy? Right, right. That's a good one. I mean, they That's also have, like, the you know, the, you can do the bomb, you can do the... Yeah, there's a whole bunch yeah, of... Yeah, right. Uh, extra ones but only those three only those, One of those rock, three yes paper scissors okay correct so just leave a comment in youtube or in facebook right and someone's going to win that's a nice prize it is that's a nice prize it is very I'm nice say prize. The third time that is a nice prize why don't you read that thing down there since uh, oh yeah ladies and oh uh oh thanks for watching yeah the one up there okay uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. with another live broadcast of BS TV. Uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Come and visit us at the store at the corner of North Law and East Pacific okay. in Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, we're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Fantastic. It Very is nice fantastic. Yes, probably the too. best you've done. Really? Reading that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's all week. in caps now. It's always been in caps. Oh, okay. <laughs>